With new information and guidelines coming out every day, we know viewers have a lot of questions. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back to answer more of your questions submitted through ClickOnDetroit.com. Doc. Yeah, Kim. So a viewer named Nick asks, if you've been fully vaccinated but feel as though you may have a mild case, what should you do and how long would it last? Well, Nick, breakthrough infections are possible. If you're vaccinated but experiencing COVID symptoms, you should get tested and stay home to avoid infecting others until your test results come back. There's no way to know how long your symptoms will last, but in a mild case, they'll likely resolve quickly. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, can I mix and match vaccines? I had an AstraZeneca vaccine in Mexico on April 9th. I'm now in the States and can't get an AstraZeneca second shot. Which vaccine should I get and when? This is not an uncommon question. In fact, there have been a couple of studies looking at a dose of the Pfizer vaccine after a single AstraZeneca dose. One preliminary study spaced the doses out by two weeks and found an excellent response. Another study suggested spacing the two shots out by 12 weeks might reduce side effects. My recommendation would be to get the Pfizer vaccine as your second shot, and now that you're six weeks out, I would say any time is great. Eileen writes, I got both of my shots. Each time I received my shot, it burned and my arm started itching and it turned a little red. Is that normal? A reaction near the injection site is not uncommon, and if you have it with the first shot, according to a recently published paper in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, there's a 43% chance that you will have a similar reaction with the next dose. The same study found large skin reactions that occurred more than seven days after the first shot were far more common in women and with the Moderna vaccine. Importantly, they did not find any long-term problems and the rashes resolved on their own. Now finally, another viewer asks, why are colleges making this vaccine mandatory for a virtually safe group of people? So while college students do have a lower risk of becoming seriously ill or dying, they have played a big role in spreading the virus because they tend to be more social and less cautious. With most colleges planning to have students back on campus and back in dorms in the fall, getting vaccinated will dramatically reduce the risks of outbreaks. Back to you. Great information as always. Doc, we appreciate it.